you guys noticed that Amelia was not wielding just one weapon, not two. She was switching up so many different weapons. Swords, dual wielding swords, spears, lances, halberds. Like she had like tonfas on at some point. Wolverine, you know, icicle gauntlet things. I was too focused on the fight that I couldn't really appreciate all the weapon swaps. But like this new Amelia is amazing. Now, Regulus did show up <laughs> and saved Amelia. But now we're going to be the 79th wife, which is very interesting because apparently he saved this specific spot. 79, right? He has way more than 79 wives, by the way. Based on the, like, like, and these are like alive wives. I think he has a lot more dead wives. I don't think that's really a spoilers, right? But um, he saved the slot 79 just for Amelia, which is very fascinating. 79, what does that mean? Seven deadly sins, nine, you know, two extra original sins. 79 is also a prime number. I'm not really sure if there's any more meaning behind that. And, and Reinhardt. I don't think Reinhardt failed. I don't think Reinhardt lost because he didn't lose to Sirius. But if the mission was saving everybody while defeating Sirius, then I guess you can think that this is Reinhardt's first L. But it's okay. Subaru has additional information. We're getting to figuring out more about the authority of Wrath and Liliana. When are we going to get the songstress to play her goddamn music to snap everyone out of the trance? Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> I don't know it's why it's funny that both Regulus and Subaru are holding someone. You know, Regulus holding Amelia, Subaru holding on this fucking stupid ass kid. Yeah, he saved her, man! Even I'm not patient enough to have a pile of ashes for a wife. You mean there's someone patient enough for that shit? Yeah. Oh, I need to tell him his name, right? I, I thought he said we can't talk. I, I I'm sorry. I, you were talking. I, I shouldn't have spoken, but it's like, okay, we got to let him know our name. Yo. No, 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 no. no. It's actually so fascinating how he's able to do mental gymnastics like this. Because the end goal is, you violated my right as a person, right? The end goal, and then he works backwards, so he'll fixate on certain things, and he'll figure out a way to be like, and then you violated my fucking rights, therefore now I'm gonna kill you. What'd I say? I was always like, let's stop fighting him. Can we please listen to him? Let's let, let him talk, or let's like listen to what he's saying. Because like, he, I don't think he truly would have like attacked Rem and that light biking to us was there in the beginning of season two. But like this is the first example where we actually was like courteous to him and we listened to him and we did what he wanted to do. Look, look, it's working out, I think, for now. Okay. <laughs> nah, regular's good. <laughs> is this what he's doing right now when everyone's in the third attack? Because everyone is separated. Otto's biggest concern right now is picking, hmm, which sweet do we pick? Hmm. Okay, Otto. Bomb Bam, uh, Garfield mentioned it. Gluttony. I think that's cult clothing. I think that's gluttony right there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Gluttony's 13, remember. Lie. Lie. Oh shit! This is the craziest outfit, bro. You know what would be even crazier? I can't believe I was saying this. Bro, imagine if he was like showing little hair here. Like, 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 like. It's basically like a man cleavage, you know? Like a girl cleavage, like Diddy is showing up. Like, <laughs> like, that's a man cleavage, you know what I mean? Like, this is crazy. <laughs> he actually just got squashed fucking flat. Holy. I wonder if he's actually a um, beast man, right? Because, like, only. Like, we, we were having a lot of fun saying, like, Theresia Austria took some back shots from a beast man because, uh, uh, Wilhelm is such a fucking. He never said, I love you once, right? And that's why, you know, um, this kid got born, you know, a half human, half beast, whatever, his jagged teeth. And therefore, when he returned in the beginning of season two, the blessing of the Grim Reaper then activated to Wilhelm. Anyway, that's a stupid theory, but I wonder if this is a beast man. Get out of here. 
Otto, get out of there. He's so jacked. Us? We plur- It's- Subs air? Us? We? Us? We? There was a frame in the opening. There was a frame in the opening with lie on water, and there was like a reflection, right? Third person? Third person? Intentional? Mm, plural? Mm. <laughs> there might be more? <sighs> Baten Kaitos. I've been butchering his name the entire time. I've been saying Baikentos. Baten Kaitos. That's a cool name. We have three archbishops showing up. <laughs> Bro, he did a, and the fire went out. He's, I mean, Rino Regal is super strong, but God fucking damn. Not good. They're fighting each other. Regal's is on our side. Therefore, you're violating my rights. He gave the treasure. It's the treasure that he gave me. He layers that rage belongs to me. The treasure is the rage. With Betelgeuse's death, right? I guess Fortuna, assuming this is Fortuna. Sirius is now saying like, this is the one thing that he's given to me. I deserve this shit. <laughs> Regal on our side, kind of. <laughs> Apparently, in the anime, it looked like she appeared out of nowhere, right? It truly just appeared out of fucking nowhere. But in the light novel, apparently, she was being hidden underneath, like, the clothing. So, like, it, I, I thought, like, is it another authority where you just fucking summon shit? No, I, I think it's a little inconsistency with the animation. I'm not sure. Imagine Luzpel runs off and he immediately dies. <laughs> Nah, regular's too strong. Fires don't do shit. That's. It's never gonna happen again. Remember, his auto guard isn't always up, right? We've seen examples where he was caught off guard by the unseen hand from Bed to the Goose before. As well as Fortuna. If he's not paying attention, like this is not like Accelerator from Index, where it's just like default mode reflector on at all times, right? He has to be conscious. Shamak says no. EMM? EMM. We did a Shamak EMM new magic. I don't know what this is. Like face through? I know that I want to know the powers, but why are you doing this? Don't explain your powers. Don't explain your powers. What are you doing, bro? Don't explain your powers. Half a step. Invisible Providence. Did he punch him? It landed. Is he allowing him to land this shit? There's no way Regulus couldn't react to that. Is he just allowing this shit to happen? I know it's probably not doing any damage, but the fact that we're contacting him, this is beyond audacious from our side. Did he tilt or get hit? There's an impact made. I hear an impact sound too. What? It looks like he kind of grazed him. Maybe he dodged it, but like that's kind of weird. The negative side effect. Comes with the price to use the authority. Also, was there a moment? Did Sirius make a comment on that? Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Serious, 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 serious. Okay, okay. Huh. Why would she make that noise? Because obviously she fucking loves Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse has the same goddamn invisible hand. And it's a sloth witch factor. She recognizes you have the sloth witch factor in you. Are we going to become the new target? <laughs> She's going to be like, you're the one that killed my husband and took my fucking new witch factor or something. The drawback, the drawback. And the most frustrating thing is that even if the cut content and the anime seems to be telling us that Subaru is not compatible, right? It, it, here's the thing. He was chosen to receive, to, to, to kind of get this Sloth Witch Factor. Chosen and compatibility are separate things. He is apparently 
pretty compatible. Betrugus is not compatible at all. But yet, Betrugus has better proficiency with Invisible Light immediately. Because compatibility does not... It's, it, it's not proportional to, like, how well you use the authority. So, like, Subaru, he's been chosen, and he's kind of compatible on a spectrum. Definitely better in Betrugus, but not on the same level of, like, let's say, Regulus. But on top of that, he fucking sucks with his hands, though. And then there's, like, when, this, like, one, like, um, schizo theory about why Subaru has one hand here. And it comes from, like, the light novel and web novel passages, constantly saying, like, how uh, there's, like, these passages talking about wanting to wipe away a tear for Satala, and therefore this single hand represents that. I don't know how close that gets, but I don't know. I'm trying to save her, bro. Wow, he's a white knight. 79. Yome. I like waifu more though. It's funnier. Waifu makes it sound like he's like objective like really like an anime waifu. Yeah, it's like it's a video game, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My waifu. <laughs> Bro didn't even know the name of his fucking 79th bride. He, the name doesn't even fucking matter to him. Easy. I mean, he's honest about it. He, he ain't fucking lying around. Now, we're not saying this is a good thing. Right? But he's very honest about what he believes. She's just hot. Got a good face. I don't give a fuck about anything else. <laughs> Who am I to argue against a guy that has hundreds and hundreds of wives? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Serious nose. Okay. The target's on you now, bro. Are we a motherfucker now? Amelia is now being stolen from us. We're assuming that Sirius is Fortuna. And Fortuna is Amelia's quote-unquote mother. And now Fortuna, Sirius, has her sights on us because we have Betrugus' Witchloth Witch Factor. And I don't know if this is like love is like, you know, I'm going to kill you and get the Witch Factor back or I'm going to like, you know, be attracted to you. But like, <laughs> are we a motherfucker now? Dude, the cycle of NTR, this, this is crazy. It's... Magic trick? Authority? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> to just give someone a name and use your blind devotion as an excuse. Wait, wait, wait. Get it through your head that it's creepy to just give someone a name and use your blind devotion as an excuse. Give someone a name? Better excuse right now? What takes someone's I think it's a sub shit. Is it called um, taking someone's name? Interesting. It's the Romani Conti, right? Yeah, it's the Romani Conti thing. It's, it's, it's Subaru got called Petrigus, but also Sirius calls herself Romani Conti too, right? I think there could be more than one meaning here. <laughs> but they weren't even lovers. She thinks that because you made eye contact a couple... Why would she fall for him? Well, because, you know, Fortuna and Betrugi is past, right? But we're going to imagine Pandora's kind of erased all that shit. But eye contact several times a day is enough for her to fall in love. <laughs> what the fuck, everyone? Is this sharing Fortuna shit right now? I I I'm not sure, but let's, like, let's listen to the dialogue again. Yes. Several eye contacts, yeah. I very nervously stole something of his and he didn't scold me. I wonder what she stole. Slurping up last of my food. When I inhaled his exhaled brr... What? So Bethany just goes around... And Sirius is just around the corner, be like... Oh, you and I are together now. 
<laughs> Indirect kiss. I, I, ex I inhaled your exhaled breath. We're together. You're inside me, right? Is that what she's thinking? <laughs> and I'm guessing, you know, the bleeding, you know, I, I thought that they would be, like, also crying tears, but it's looking like because, you know, Sirius is crying like that. Everyone else is all sharing the effects, but blood. He gave her the name. What are you going to do to me now? <laughs> Am I cheating on you right now? Because vehicles with me? <laughs> she knows the plot. <laughs> she, knows, she knows that Amelia's number one. And, and, and there's nothing romantic with vehicle. Remember, spirits and spirits don't feel the same way, okay? Mm. Bell. What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? Free period? Upholding the gospel? What? Be grateful to me for upholding the gospel. Remember, the gospel is a set of instructions. Grimoires are much more refined version where gospels are flawed versions. And then the Tomb of Wisdom is the true future telling shit that Echidna most likely is. It's, you know, the, the Tomb of Wisdom is literally Echidna's like authority of greed, right? So, looking like they're listening. Free period's over. Bell has struck. Senior is gonna change. Wait, there's still one more Archbishop that hasn't shown up. The one with the G-strings, right? Right? Mm. Can I join the wedding? Am I invited? Can I be the best man? Am I invited? <laughs> that pebble on the ground, he touches it. Dude, it gets sent so fucking fast, right? His authority, it's, it's becoming more, and it's still kind of confusing, but it, it just truly feels like he has utter free control over these objects to just, like, manipulate. Even the air breath he did, right, where he's like, and the fire went away, it wasn't necessarily his breath, but the way that the exhaled breath air was then used and, like, force ma multiplied somehow outwards, right? Are we going to reset this run? <laughs> His eyes are red now again. <laughs> yeah, is, is he literally just Accelerator? Is he Vector Transform? It does really feel Accelerator-like, right? And we're only on episode 10, season episode 11 of season 1. Accelerator just showed up to the show. Vector Transform, right? Direction, magnitude, just free control of everything. It, it, it might not be the same, but there's a lot of similarities going on. <laughs> Can you heal this in time? Ooh, everyone took the same damage too. This. Crazy shit. Everyone's bleeding out their fucking limbs right now, but they still have to fucking applaud at the same time. Okay. Gospel's orders matters the most. Looking like we get away. There's nothing we can really do right now. This is so fucked. And Regulus is a really wild card. All the Archbishops obviously don't vibe well with each other. I don't think Regulus is on our side by any means, but maybe there's a chance where Regulus could attack the other Archbishops too. They're all listening to the orders of the Gospel. Regulus says to himself, Sirius as well. There's a next phase to the plan. And this is the scariest shit. That, like, this is all pre-planned. These dudes are not showing up just doing random actions. Which further makes me think that Anastasia already knew that this was going to happen, right? I, I, my tinfoil theory of why Anastasia invited everyone here was because she knew ahead that the Archbishops were going to attack Pristella. And the only way to survive was to bring in the other candidates. And maybe some other candidates will shed some forever forces or even maybe die while overcoming this challenge which makes Anastasia even like higher in terms of like the standings of the rankings right now right but this is extremely well planned I mean Regulus was literally here yesterday right when he was being all kind and he said tomorrow's when shit's all gonna go down and imagine if a checkpoint is made here imagine if a checkpoint is made here bro like oh please no Mimi and Garfield what's going on they stood out all night. Ricardo's also not back yet. Yo, Garfield's mom's a freak. Maybe he wants to. Maybe you should go visit. Oh, we literally went last night. Mimi peek. 
Because the kid told the mom, Yeah, gorgeous tiger, save me! But it's like, this is our mom too, you know? This is our mom, and the mom comes a gorgeous tiger. Do we have the crystal in our neck? Does she not see it? Mm. Because we're family. Odd, huh? Frederica and Garfield, man. Literally that, but with humans instead, rather than beast people. She's a bossy big sister. What's that idiom? Red. <laughs> Frederica. Is that a line that mom used to use before? <laughs> Mimi is so nice. Dad. So this is the third baby daddy. And I don't want to completely just think that this is the end. While it's 99.999% that this is the third baby daddy, there is potential that the siblings that you see, there could be a fourth baby daddy. You never know. This might be responsible for just one. You, or even better. Let's create an even more fucked up scenario where Garfield's mom is just hoeing out even harder. This is not even the dad of these kids. The two kids that you see are offsprings of two other random dudes. But he's the boyfriend. And he's the dad that stepped up. Yeah. Five baby daddies. Five, four, point, four and a half. Garfield's mom is a fucking freak. She is wilding. She took back shots from not one but two beast people. Maybe it's racist for me to say this. I'm not really sure. And then potentially two more. Probably one, right? Minimum three. At most, 4.5 baby daddies. <laughs> I mean, the mom is hot. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Elsa. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, Elsa? <laughs> I would have just went. Blah, 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 blah. And just embrace the fucking break, dude. It's the fucking soft landing over here. I love how Garfield is literally going through like this chuny like battle of shonen delusions, like just arguing with this like inner tailed beast. Like you need to be stronger than Reinhardt, and Elsa's always there to like jeer him on. And it's perfect how Elsa's return to the show without being alive. It's just everything I could have ever wanted. Mimi, where you at? You see that, Mimi? Mimi. No. His head hurts. Also, I'm surprised that the mom didn't recognize the necklace, huh? It has been such a long time, and Garfield was a literal baby. There's no way that she could really tell, like, from the baby and how that kid would grow up after, like, 15 years. But the necklace is very important in something that the mom gave Frederica and Garfield, yet nothing comments made. Oh, dad. Pay up money, baby. Come on. I don't know. What's her name? Mom's identity. Liara. Confirmed? Yes or no, bro. Raid. Uh, first, uh, Von Austria Sword Master, Sword Master, Sword Saint. The hero, right? The person that... Uh, Garfield also read a book about martial arts, and that's why he's actually so fucking strong. <laughs> Not Liana, Alicia. <laughs> I wonder what he's thinking. How many other dudes has my wife gone through? Is that what he's thinking right now? No, there's no way he's thinking that right now, but in my head, that, that little... She for the fucking streets. Tell me. Fuck this show with this memory loss bullshit, bro. Oh my god, another person with mem- Ah, <sighs> goddamn memories. I wonder if it's due to gluttony. Gluttony? Lie, Bikentos? Maybe the mudslide did it. Yeah, the mudslide, the rock slide, right? And he saved her. So that's why she don't remember anything. She can't remember. The blue necklace isn't there. Like, like she, she doesn't have any of those memories. And the memory loss is most likely due to the rock slide rather than, you know, gluttony lie showing up to eat it, right? <laughs> which husband? Which, which dad? Huh? Which baby daddy? 
I wonder if she's been keeping this a secret. She has kept a secret. Night blooming flower. He looks like a good guy. He's a genuinely good person. <laughs> Are you my son from another bot? It can't be, it's not another mother, it's the same, it's another father. <laughs> this is weird, you know what I say? <laughs> you my son from another father, <laughs> you know? Ooh. You gonna say it? Somewhere to be. That's a lie, you know it. Bro, you're the worst liar ever. If someone said that, looking like this, that's a 100% confirmation that you're involved in this. Mimi just chilling on the side. Mom. <laughs> Gorgeous tiger. Aww. Take it. That was very good of Mimi. You would think that Mimi is stupid. Maybe you could say that. But I think she read the mood really well here. You see that? Mimi's like, huh, I don't think Garfield's in the right state of mind to take that. And if she, he didn't take this, it's really sad. I'll fucking clutch up for you. Okay. <laughs> Were you gorgeous, Mimi? <laughs> You're gorgeous, Mimi, gorgeous tiger. <laughs> gorgeous couple. All right. Bye. Huh? He wouldn't in front of Mimi. Oh, he's gonna cry. Yep. Mimi just smelled that shit. I was gonna make a comment of like, wow, Mimi, you were listening to the conversation. You knew the plot. You figured it out. But it's no, she smelled that shit. Yeah, the rock slide. Headpads. You're spot on, Mimi. Lap pillow also works, but a crying hits the woman's bosoms. Let's go, Gar. Anastasia said it. You so are. Like us some 07 in chat for Mimi. Mimi's 100% gonna die. Why? Why are you doing this shit, dude? They were already doing so much fucking fan service, like, like, like fucking, like, slice of life moments, and I was already so scared for Mimi. Now you're declaring this shit, like, this is so dangerous. Like, Mimi is a prime fucking target to get injured, to get killed, to elicit, like, such a reaction from a lot of people. That's like, oh, Mimi, so cute, so cute and funny. It's just like, bro, this is just, ugh. <laughs> Alright. It's like, mom. Let it out, Garfield. <laughs> Blame the rock slide. <laughs> Here's a fucked up idea. Why did the rock slide just happen? Rather than blaming Pandora, let's blame Roswell for this. Let's say Roswell was listening to his grimoire back then too, and it told him... Fucking rock slide that bitch before she leaves. In order to set up Garfield like this into the future. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out a reason to blame Roswell right now. I, 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 probably not the case or Roswell. Probably not the case that Lai was there, Gluttony was there to eat the memories. But if Gluttony was there to eat the memories, and if we defeated Gluttony in this arc, then it's not just Rem that would return, then potentially, you know, Krush and... Mom, but it's probably not the case. And then the final thing is Pandora, right? Anytime you wanna... The, the default, right? The, the get out of jail free card when you're confused and you don't know how to theorize. Just blame Pandora. Bl Pandora planned all of this shit. It's just Pandora right now too, bro. <laughs> yeah, the, the lie is 13, true. Lie is 13, the age does not match up. Maybe you could say the previous gluttony holder, but again, the authorities change with a person's like desires, personalities, with the exception of Sloth, because it just seems like Sloth is too lazy to fucking change. <laughs> Sad. Wah, wah. The next day. 
We're back to current timeline. Maybe. Mimi no mom? Mimi's an orphan? Mom of the year. Just popped out triplets and said, Too much work. Bye. Yeah, the sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mimi's so cute. <laughs> Mimi, no! The last Archbishop. The G string one. It's gotta be her. I don't remember this sound. I don't remember this voice. But the way that she says, You worthless meat. Archbishop of Lust, finally. <laughs> Oh shit. Here we go. Worthless me scraps. Man, I didn't even. Th Lugunika. Chan sama. And remember how I was saying. And, and we'll, 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 go, we'll, we'll revisit this when we see her face. But like, I, I thought of all archbishops that use this radio broadcast, I thought it would be serious to kind of like use their authority. But here we go. Chan Sama. That's long. You want me to soil myself? You want me to literally get on my knees and like, shit my pants and piss myself and cry? <laughs> now, you've seen the cover picture. You've seen the opening. Pick, make, make note of these fangs. Remember, what does Felt have? Blonde hair, red eyes, fang. This is the trait for a Lugunican royal family. We were told that the Lugunica royal family died out due to some sort of plague that hit their bloodline only. Felt is an exception because she escaped through the kidnapping incident that happened 15 years ago. But how could she be alive? How? It could be her that got kidnapped. 100%. You're right. It, it definitely could be. But another example of this is like how Pandora. Like the... Like... You make a covenant with the dragon, and the covenant has blood association with it. I thought the dragon might have killed off the royal family, because the dragon only cares about staying in power, and the royal family were trying to figure out how to sway away. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, aligning more with Crucia's ideology of like, no dragon, you know, no covenant, Lugunica for the people, right? So I thought that the dragon basically decided to get rid of the royal family because, again, the blood association, the covenant, and a plague that only hits the, you know, just the Luganican, you know, DNA. That sounds very interesting, right? And then he decided to, you know, get more bitches because he's he, he wants a fucking harm. I, I, maybe he's like an Opai Dragon King, like in, you know, high school DXT, but how could she be alive? Maybe there's even more events that we didn't know about beyond, like, the 15-year kidnapping. Maybe it's Pandora. Remember, always default onto Pandora. Maybe the epidemic or pandemic or something that wiped out the Luganican family, it was all a fucking lie. <laughs> Crazy laugh. <gasps> Kyodai! Remember, no arm. What do you say? I'm Al, the guy you'd never forget once you've seen him. Which is very funny, and I'm not sure if this is gonna be canonically true, but Al has memory loss too, right? At least in the web novel. Al is an isekai character. He started in Valakia. He lost an arm because he was a gladiator there, right? The helmet's a gift, but he has episodic memory loss. But that's in the web novel. Who knows if, you know, like fucking light novel, this content matters, and then you know, the memory, the never forget once. That's why it's funny to me. Imagine this is the checkpoint. This is the checkpoint, isn't it? This is fucking checkpoint, isn't it? We go. It's never a good thing when we wake up from a bed. This is the checkpoint, bro. It's no, no. Biko is fine. Felix. No. Our legs got destroyed. Okay, we're good. We're good. Suspended animation? Wah, wah. No mana? Alright, saving Loose Spell was not a waste. I was worried that the moment that we fucking left Loose Spell that he would die immediately and there was no point. 
He was the one that was able to get out to save everyone here. Loose spell clutch. It was not wasted. What about Tina, though? <laughs> what happened to Tina, bro? <laughs> Yo, what about, uh, Rachins? Is Rachins okay? How do we do mana transfer? How do we do mana transfer? He looks right. Quite often, we do the same thing where Subaru is too hard on himself and he's like, I gotta get going immediately. He tries to do shit by himself, then everything goes wrong. We need to calm down for a bit and think. No ass on Felix. No bubble butt. No bubble butt trap. Missed opportunity. Al has more cheeks than Felix, by the way. Al? Dude, his booty cheek animation is crazy. Thank you, Al. Oh, no credits are rolling, no! Wait, what? This is the... This is basically the witch cult rep... Pristella is? Pristella is the HQ... What? News company is associated. Okay, okay, okay. Top 10 important people. Pristella. The songstress freak, right? right? No, no, no. This room? No, no, no. no. This is not. Pristella is not the HQ. We're the response to HQ. This is our temporary. F oh, God, okay, okay, okay. That makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. I misunderstood that. Okay, thank you, thank you. Like, this is basically like. Are planning. We're gonna get back at them. We're the response team for the HQ, and we're using the Muse company because you know he's like an important person here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. いや、俺を連れ去ったのはどっちも滞在試験に間に合わなかったんだ。あれあの放送はジェスと考えて。いや、カペラ。ラスト。大事時間ほど前に放送。え、she I'm still waiting for the drowning death because you know Tapu is going to make that as graphically as weird, like uh, just like suffering as possible. The witch's flags are out, bro. There it is, right? The water gate opens. We fucking get drowned. What do we do about this shit? What do we do? I have no clue. Oh, we got Reinhardt. We got Julius. We got Priscilla. We got a lot of people here. We just got to think of a plan. Lugunica. bro. How is that possible? And they don't even know there's a fourth one. A lie is here to this fourth one. Oh, the soundtrack. People are chilling? I don't know. What do they want? Remains of the witch that lie in this town. Remains? Remember. If the witch right now is the witch of envy, the flesh was never destroyed. She was sealed away apparently by the dragon, the sage, and the uh, sword saint, right? Most likely Reed, Flugel, and Volcanica. But, but, the flesh was never destroyed, and the flesh remains in this town? It's a, uh, it's, 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 it's a trap, right? The city was designed for a trap 400 plus years ago back. I thought the trap was meant for like a dragon, perhaps. Or maybe even like the great witch beast, but... Maybe it was just for the Witch of Envy. Yeah. The Witch of Envy. They flooded her. Somewhere around? How the fuck do you... Re remains? Like... So, parts of flesh? Like the whole body? How do you seal some... Because the soul. Maybe the soul got separated from the body. And that shit was sealed away? I don't know, this shit's so fucking confusing. Whenever they say witch, what are you immediately gonna say? Of course it's gonna be the Witch of Envy, right? When you think about a witch, it's gonna be Witch of Envy. It's THE witch. But it definitely could be other witches as well. Who is there left? Which witch? Flesh. Segment? No. Carmilla? No. Echidna, we already know her body. She's done Project Omega. She's out. 
I'm thinking Witch of Envy. That's the most intuitive answer you could come to, but definitely other witches could be part of it. Do you remember how they died? They died by Satala literally taking their witch factors in them. She consumed them. The legend is Satala consumed the six other witches and then engulfed the world. Half of it just grazed it down, right? So who knows? Who knows? Who mentioned that cut content content, by the way? Which cut content video mentioned that? Was it any news or was it a, a different content? Which cut content was it? Do you have a YouTube video link reference? Or are you just pulling this shit out of your ass? Because I'm trying to vet right now on whether or not I should ban like 17 of you right now in chat. Any news? Okay, okay, okay. WCT cut content? That's fucking web novel bullshit. How come when I source the web novel, you monkeys say, Giraffe doesn't count! Then the moment that it's not, it's like, Oh, it's fucking source material! Minerva died from the fucking trap! You just, you just fucking pick and choose whatever the fucking fits to your narrative. All right, Garfield and Mimi. Gorgeous. Mom, mom, mom. Oh, Jesus. What happened to your kids? What the fuck happened to those kids? Wasn't Minerva though? Okay, so it's even more retarded. So my chat is actually so retarded that you're even sourcing the wrong fucking cut content. Amazing. What, what am I surprised though? Where the kids go? That's it. That's probably fucking dead, bro. The kids are gone. Oh, mom, you're so cooked. Gorgeous tiger, please save them. These are witch cult members, lady. You got no clue. Oh. Gorgeous tiger. Oh my god, the title drop. Gorgeous tiger. To end the episode, and that's it. Oh, oh my god, that's another fucking peak episode of ReZero. As Echidna would say, 10 out of 10 across the board. Today's episode was way more focused with the Garfield stuff, right? The Garfield stuff, so what's going on? Moms lost their memories, and it's assumed that it's from the landslide. Now, it's fun to think that maybe the landslide was planned. Maybe there was something beyond that was Pandora involved, Roswell. Who fucking really knows? But that's what's happening right now. Remember, at most, four and a half baby daddies because he could be the cuck. Or at least three baby daddies. Now, Amelia is taken away by Regulus. There's some amazing moments in the beginning where Subaru was actually quote-unquote landing hits. He ain't landing hits, but he's contacting Regulus, which is more than I can ask for. The whip didn't really do shit. Invisible Providence didn't really do shit. But we saw for the first time that if you agree to kind of converse with Regulus and listen to him and do as you're told, he's kind of playful around it. We also see that Regulus and Sirius, all the archbishops, they don't seem to really get along too well. Maybe some do, but they definitely clash, so it's not like... They're all obeying the orders of the gospel. It's very interesting how they can be united at all fronts right now and kind of like work together. But right, that's basically what's happening. Regulus is gone. Sirius is gone. This is all the, you know, um, the orders of the gospel. And this is all pre-planned notions, which makes me think again that somehow, some way, Anastasia knew this ahead of time and therefore planned the invitation of the royal candidates to figure out a counter. It's looking like Mimi is something really bad's gonna happen to her. I'm really worried about Mimi. There's too much fucking slice of life moments. What else is happening? Um, I think a new checkpoint is also made in the bed right now. Amelia is taken. Regulus didn't even know uh, Amelia's fucking name. It doesn't matter because she's hot. Biko is pretty much at the limits of her mana and she's in this like suspended animation state. If we can supplement her with mana, then she'll be back. Right now, the only way I can think about is I have no clue. There's mana crystals and shit, but is that a way to transfer mana? I, I'm not really sure. And we have this new, you know, HQ base in the Muse company where we're like the Witch Cult, you know, response team. I misunderstood that Pristella was like the secret base of Witch Cult Snow. And we figure out that there is the remains of a witch. Now, when you hear a witch, the main witch of concern is the Witch of Envy. All other witches, honestly, don't really matter that much much in like this world as they just perceive the witch of envy to be the absolute fucking evil and the fact that the remains kind of associates with how satala's flesh was never destroyed that also kind of aligns together it could be a different witch for sure and if there's cut content that contradicts this i'll definitely check this out but 
Intuitively, it's probably a Witch of Envy, but there's definitely chances for someone else to be happening too. And the Witch Cult right now, they've gathered to basically just gather the remains. What the fuck is the remains? Is it a toenail? Is it a fucking arm? Is it a whole ass body? I'm not really sure. If we gave them the remains, would they just let us leave? What are they wanting right now, right? Like, well, if you're just here for the remains, could you just not get this shit yourself and leave? Do you need to like ha have everyone hostage here? I'm not sure. And the last thing, the last thing is Lugunica, Capella Lugunica. This is crazy, right? Capella Lugunica is crazy because we're supposed to believe all the Lugunican family have died off. With the exception of Felt because she got kidnapped 15 years ago. Yet, here is another Lugunican bloodline trait. Not the identical because she has like beast form like wings and shit like that. But what the fuck is going on here? The theory crafting is going to go crazy. And as usual, just blame Pandora. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.